Hello, and welcome to Tutoring Hour. In this video, we'll learn to read and interpret a bar graph. Let's get rolling with our first example. Miss Jenkins is planning to take her class on a field trip. She is looking for suggestions. Some kids opt for the aquarium, while some want to visit the zoo animals. More interesting yet, there were some others who thought the museum was the best idea. So to decide on the field trip destination, Miss Jenkins asked the 15 kids to choose between the aquarium, zoo, and museum. Miss Jenkins then converted the information into a bar graph. Let's read the bar graph and answer a few questions. Favorite field, trip, destination. This is the title of our bar graph. We have a horizontal line and a vertical line. Along the vertical line, we have the number of students. And along the horizontal line, we have the three destination choices. Now the bar graph makes it easy for Ms. Jenkins to compare the children's responses and decide where to take them. How many kids choose the aquarium? There were seven kids who chose the aquarium. How many kids opted for the zoo? Five students opted for the zoo. And how many wanted to go to the museum? We have three museum lovers. Which was more popular, the museum or the aquarium? Look at these two bars. Which bar is taller? The aquarium, which means the aquarium was more popular than the museum. What was more preferred, the zoo or the museum? Let's look at these two bars more closely. Which is taller? The zoo. So we know the zoo was more popular than the museum. Which destination was the most popular? Comparing the heights of the three bars, we can see the aquarium has the tallest bar. So Miss Jenkins declared that she would take her class to the aquarium. Miss <laughs> Jenkins then went on to ask her students about the aquatic animals they wanted to see at the aquarium. The kids' choices included the jellyfish, stingray, and dolphin. To find out which was the most popular aquatic animal, Miss Jenkins then asked the kids to split up into three groups based on the animal they liked. Converting that into a bar graph would look like this. Which aquatic animal bagged the highest number of votes? The dolphin, hands down, is the winner! Which aquatic animal was less popular, the stingray or the jellyfish? If you said stingray, that would be wrong. If you said jellyfish, that would still be wrong because both the stingray and jellyfish have equal numbers of votes. How many votes did the jellyfish get? The jellyfish got two votes. How many liked the dolphins? Give yourself a pat on the back if you said 11. The bell rings and Miss Jenkins wraps up her class, promising to take the children to the aquarium the following day. It's time to start putting it into practice by solving some of these worksheets at tutoringhour.com. Hope you found this lesson useful. Show us some love with your likes and shares. Subscribe to our channel right now. Thanks for stopping by.